Good morning, everyone. This is Dana from NextGen, and I hope everyone has had a fantastic weekend. So for the next few weeks, I'm going to be talking about being balanced. And in being balanced, I'm going to be using the wellness dimensions to talk about what I started doing in 2023, some adjustments I've made, and what I'm going to be finishing out the last quarter of 2023 and also looking into some of the changes I'm going to make that's going to affect what I'll be doing in 2024. One of the wellness dimensions that I've been having some challenges with is my environmental wellness. But before I get into what I've done and what I'm going to be doing, what I'd like to do is to remind everyone what we mean when we talk about environmental wellness. So this is the definition of environmental wellness. So I'll just give you a few minutes to take a look at it. But it has to do with our environment, whether it's in our homes, whether it's in our workplace, or whether it's in our community. So when we're talking about it, um, in my case, since I've retired, it's not going to be so much of my workplace because my workplace and my home for all intensive purposes is the same thing. So let's go ahead and take a look at what the definition of environmental wellness is, and then I'll go into what I have been doing thus far. So in 2023, what I planned to do was to combine my trips. So I made a schedule for what I was going to be doing um, in my planner. So in June, if you remember, I started going to a trainer. So what I would do is I would schedule my grocery shopping and gassing up the vehicles and going to the cleaners on those days where I was doing something else. So I am with the trainer twice a week. So those were the days when I was running my errands. The other thing I was doing, well, what we started to do, instead of driving to the gym, a lot of times we would walk in the neighborhood. So that's where we started, but we're gonna probably start that back up again in 2024. Also, I reduced waste. And what I meant by that is I am not using a lot of disposable things. Like for my water bottle, I have a reusable water bottle. I'm not buying bottled water. So that's one thing. Um, when I would go to work, I would have a tray that I could um, throw away or that was disposable. A lot of times um, I would reuse them when necessary, but now that I am retired, I don't have to um, pack a lunch, if you will. And if I do, it's with something that is reusable. So those are some of the things that I'm doing to reduce waste. The documents that I have that I can... Uh, well, actually, I'm trying to digitize all of my documents and back them up. And for those that I can throw away, I'll throw away after I digitize it or back it up. But a lot of the things, the documents that I have are like bank statements and bill statements. I don't have to keep them multiple years on in some instances. On the business side, I would, but for the personal, I don't. So digitize the things that I need to digitize and then um, put the paper in the recycle bin. So I've been doing a lot of recycling. Uh, so that is one of the things that I'm doing that I've done this year and that I'm going to continue to do in 2024. Now, one of the 
things that I need to work on, of course, is the donation part. And so hopefully I can get better at that. But um, I'm going to start donating things. And of course, if I cannot put it in the recycle or the donation, then I would just throw away the things that I don't need. So this is what I've been doing in 2023. Some of them I have to do a little bit of work, but for the most part, um, I'm getting better at it. And I'll probably add some more things to the list in 2024 to help with my environmental wellness. Well, thank you for stopping by, and I hope that the information was beneficial to you to show some of the things that I'm doing to stay balanced um, in 2023, and then also take a look at what I'll be doing in 2024. Also, um, if some of you don't know, um, this weekend we are having a buyer home buyer seminar. Now, the one for the I think it's Saturday. I'll put a link in the description. Um, it's either going to there's one for on Saturday that's going to be for the first time home buyers or even sellers for that matter. And then the in a couple of weeks after that, I want to say on the 18th, they're going to have a seminar for the investors. So make sure you take a look at those and um, hopefully the information will be beneficial to you. Make sure that you get your questions answered if you are interested in buying a home in this environment. So don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't done so and have a great week.